In this quick video here, um, I'm going to be actually demonstrating you guys how to use a keyboard and a mouse on the new iPhone 15 series. Um, so what you're going to need for this video is obviously a compatible mouse and a compatible keyboard. Uh, some mouse and some keyboards actually don't work um, that I have found. The next thing you're going to need is some sort of USB-C hub uh, that has at least two USB uh, ports on it and what you're gonna also then need to do is head over into settings on the phone to enable a Specific feature to enable this to work. So the setting you're gonna need to turn on is over here in settings And you're gonna want to scroll down to accessibility go to touch and then go to assistive touch and Within here you're going to want to scroll down and make sure that this selection here is on called always show menu and once then, um, you then just need to turn on assistive touch and you're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and now connect the keyboard and mouse to the USB hub, uh, but there they are. All right, so now once you've got your keyboard and mouse plugged in, uh, you wanna go ahead and then turn on that assistive touch feature. And straight away right there, you can see we have a little gray, basically a mouse pointer at this point. So, I can grab the mouse here and you can see I'm now moving that cursor around via this mouse right here. So I can go and click the little assistive touch button to go home, just like that. And I can go through pages like so, go back and then go back again. And then I can say, I want to open up files and browse some stuff There's recently deleted. Let's go back. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and go home. And you can say, you can even uh, do photo and video editing via this. So let's say I go into Lightroom and I wanna open up a photo. And there's that, so the photo is open. Go down here to the little sliders and I can adjust that photo using the mouse and keyboard. You can see right there, pretty cool. And I can adjust another parameter, let's say contrast. Moving the contrast up and down, pretty darn cool. And so there's that, let's go home. And it works the same way with uh, video editing. So say for example, Luma Fusion, which is kind of a more professional focused a video editor. Uh, you can scrub through the timeline just like so. You can kind of go back and forth very easily. And again, we can kind of just go through the interface. Um, let's say I want to go and double tap the clip to open up the clip editor. I can turn on stabilization. I can do that, all that good stuff. I can go back and effectively do all the edits um, via the keyboard mouse. Now on the keyboard, if I hit the space bar, you can see right there, the space bar, just like normal, uh, pauses and plays the video in the timeline. And you can hit the backspace key to de delete a clip within the timeline. Basically, there's the standard uh, keyboard shortcuts that you might come to know and be familiar with um, on a desktop editor kind of sort of applies to this particular instance uh, with the keyboard and mouse on the iPhone. But yeah, so let's go ahead and jump back to home again. You can go, let's say you go, you go into the Photos app, you can just kind of slide through photos. And see what you got here, back and forth. Double click the mouse to actually, you can do a double click zoom in, double click zoom out press that and kind of drag down and it closes the photo. So if you want to go home, you can actually put the little, instead of using the assistive touch little button, you can actually put this little mouse cursor at the very bottom of the screen and slide up just like you would with your finger uh, to go home. Um, and there's that. So now if I go into the notes app and let's say create a new note, I can actually type on the keyboard over here on the right side of the screen. It's kind of hard to get all this within view. It's a pretty awkward setup I have going on here. It's just for this quick demonstration. Um, but yeah, I can just type something on the keyboard. So let's just say test with the keyboard. And 
The actual predictive text sort of works as well. As you saw there, I misspelled the word keyboard, and all I had to do was press the space bar on the actual keyboard, and it replaced the text or the word with the correct spelling. So that's interesting. And you can also do this keyboard shortcut for highlighting text. <clears throat> so if you want to highlight a particular word or a phrase or a sentence, just like you would on a desktop or a laptop computer, you just hold down the shift key and move the arrow keys left or right to highlight the text. You can see there, the text is now highlighting and I can say, I wanna cut that. So it'd be command X in this case to cut the text and I wanna paste it. So it'd be command V and there you go. It now pasted the text. I wanna undo that. I can do command Z It now undoes that previous action. So pretty cool. And again, the backspace works as well. You can do all that. And yeah, essentially the keyboard works just like you'd expect a keyboard to function if you were to plug it into a standard computer. So, and the same thing with the mouse. Again, it's pretty remarkable that you can actually use a full mouse and a keyboard on an iPhone now. So that is basically it uh, for this particular video. That is how you would use a desktop keyboard and mouse on the new iPhone 15 Pro. Uh, this will also again work on the standard iPhone 15, the non-pro models. I theorize that this probably would work on even older iPhones, say so the iPhone 14 Pro, uh, if you happen to have the USB 3.0 to lightning adapter. Um, I think that would, might work, although I can't definitively say that for sure because I haven't tested it. But if you have a new iPhone 15 with a USB-C port on it, um, you can indeed have a full keyboard and mouse plugged in and use it just kind of like you would a, a normal computer. If you wanted to edit your photos and edit your videos that way, and you're someone that edits, edits them on a phone, but does not have say an iPad or an actual laptop or a desktop computer, but you have a keyboard and mouse for some reason, you can plug it into your iPhone and use it kind of like a desktop computer. So anyway, um, that is pretty much it for this video. I don't wanna make this video any longer than it already is. And But if you guys have any questions uh, or need help kind of any way uh, that you've seen with the process here, drop a comment below and I'll try to help you guys out the best as I can. Um, smash the like button. It just lets me know that you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button as well. Again, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.